What's up, what's up? Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. It's Ashmar Wedge. Yo. Chilling with my young boys. Hey. I wanted to tell y'all something. Jai. Muhammad. Yo. Y'all don't worry about, y'all not really worried about it right now, but I'm gonna give y'all some history. Man, I'm supposed to be following the GPS. But I'm going to give y'all some history. This is an important topic, so I'm going to do it. That's why I'm going to put you on camera, my Muslim brother. He don't like to be on camera, but I'm going to put him on camera this time. Because uh, this is an important topic. Yo, I'm what you call an old head. I was born in 1974. And um, y'all guys, y'all was born after... The crack epidemic. Or, yeah, I'm going to just say the crack epidemic. Now, the topic of today is basically about how drug dealers, the people that pretty much ruin a whole generation from the 90s about 2010 yeah from the 90s to about 2010 crack cocaine pretty much uh, reshaped the souls of the people from the ghetto so y'all gonna hear a whole lot of stuff nowadays about how they came through the times of the crack era as drug dealers. Well, I'm going to talk about what about the drug addicts. Because I had family members, close family members, parents that were actually drug addicts. And they went through that time. And I was a young kid and grew up into a man through that time. So I seen it firsthand. Some of the best people from the hood were crack addicts. They were the best of our nation, the best of our race. And what's so sad is that nowadays, all you hear about is the drug dealers and what they gained from that time and how much money they made and how much richness they got and how the hood used to be. They always glorifying it by saying, you know, we made so much money on the hood and how hard we are, and how many people we kill, and how this and that. But I'm here to tell you as a witness, a first-hand witness, that uh, crack cocaine, all of those people that was the, that's talking trash nowadays, they were cowards. They were either cowards or nerds. All of the hip people, all of the best people, like my father, like my mother, like so many other people that were caught up on that drug was the best. They were the best of our nation. They were the best of our race. And unfortunately, now that it's all over, a lot of them died and they're gone. But the ones that's still here are quiet. And the people that's talking about crack cocaine and all that in that era are people who benefited from them through drug money and the government help because the government had a big role in the destruction of the African American community and it wasn't a government to say all white people all government no it was particular people but they worked for the government so that's why I'm saying government that's a broad view because the government helped a lot of people too but it's people in the government that did us wrong. And so I just wanted to put that out there. Crack cocaine is being glorified by a bunch of coward ex-drug dealers. <laughs> and they ex-drug dealers. You know, and and, and, and um, some of our best people, man, most talented people were drug addicts. And once that drug hit them, it took it from night to day. Crack cocaine was engineered in a laboratory 
to destroy people. And the sad part about it, it didn't just hurt the, the hood, it hurted everybody. Even the other areas in this country are nothing like it used to be. So we recovering now from crack. If God's willing, we'll see, inshallah. Y'all understand that? Even you, my Ethiopian brother, did you understand that? You're in America, you gotta know what's going on, man. Did you understand that? Huh? All right. So it's comprehended, that's all that matters. I don't care about views. 